and welcome. Today we're going to start a painting of Slippy Rock Creek. I took this picture last week and posted the picture on my website under painting photographs. Click on the magnifying glass to enlarge it, then you can print it out to follow along with me. It should be something like this. My technique's a little different. It's a combination of wet on wet and traditional painting. The thing you have to remember about alkyds is that they dry overnight unless you mix them with regular oil paint. So only take out of the tube what you need. To start the wet on wet, I use a 50-50 mix of liquid white and alkyd white. Mix them really well together until the consistency of cake frosting. This mixture will stay wet for two to three days. I've already went ahead and mixed the two together and it's it's pretty good right there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and load up my brush now. We'll just go up to the canvas here and figure out where the sky is going to be. Usually what I do is I make it a little larger area so that way, if you need to bring the trees one way or the other, you got some room to play around with. Yes, I did switch sides on you, but it's a little easier this way. What I did is I went up here and I put a nice thin coat of liquid white on the canvas. I did the top side and the right side. Because when I when I paint paintings, I do paint around the sides. It does give it a little better finish. Now I'm going to go into a little phthalo blue and start the top of the sky. What I do is I use crisscross strokes. That way you can blend it with the paint and then you can leave little gaps in the paint. As you bring it down you lighten it up a little bit like this and then just bring it out like that and then you can paint the sides. Just go real quick and just blend it all together. Just like that. Just softly blend it together. Now what I do is I'll take just a very hint of red. Just a little, little tiny, tiny bit. Just a, just a, just a very small amount of red. And just make little, little hints of red here or there. Just little, little things. That way it's like the the beginning of twilight or something like that. What the red does is it it really warms up the painting. And then I'll take like a two inch brush and then lightly go over the whole thing just to blend it all together, bring it all together. Just slow strokes like that. Gives it a nice peaceful sky. If you live in western Pennsylvania it pretty much looked like that today. Just, just a little bit there. Well, that about wraps it up today. I only got my couple minutes in. Be sure to stay tuned and I'm going to uh, put a little footage of uh, McConnell's Mills today on. So, thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Take care.